so today I am going to be making some fun little things for Liberty's closet. Um, she's a very organized child and she likes things um, to be in order, to have a system. Uh, she likes, she's the type of kid that if you teach her one time, you better teach her right the first time because there's no way that you're going to get her to change your mind after you've already taught her once which is a blessing and a curse all in rolled up in one. So what we do is we take Liberty's clothes and we set them out the night before. She loves this. It makes it so it's easier for her to get ready in the morning. She, we already know what she's going to be wearing. However, I wanted to make it um, or take it one step further. And I had this idea that I wanted to make little tags that go on her hanger and um, but it does it for every day of the week and this just makes it easier so like Sunday night I can just take and put out her clothes for the whole week and then we don't have to worry about that again we do it together she loves it she likes helping me pick out her clothes and she's one of those children that sometimes um, she has something in mind that she wants to wear even though she's only five and I just I just find that it's easier to do something like this together than it is to battle with her or um, battle with a child of, you know, what they're going to wear each day. With that being said, I'm going to be taking, these are from Fancy Pants. They are the um, chalkboard label stickers. These are the square. Okay, so I have seven here. There's seven days of the week. I'm just going to take my We Are Memories crocodile number two here and I always do that so just to make sure that it's like pushing the right one. I'm going to place these all in there. I have a rough idea of where the center is. Um, you could always like just measure it. However, I'm not one of those people. If you've ever watched anything I've done, I just, I'm not. I figure, yeah, that's good enough. I'm going to be using this fun new set. This is um, the December set for our, um, the alleyway stamps, it's called Gab Fest. It's just a cute little handwriting. So what I'm going to do is take these little tags here and I'm going to um, write the days of the week. I, I probably will just do like M-O-N for Monday. And, um, and since Liberty's learning how to read, which is really fun and she knows the days of the week, this is a great project to do with your kindergarten or preschooler. Um, to help them learn the days of the week. This is the pieces stamp set. It was um, the freebie for November. I'm going to take it. Ink it up. So I'm going to do that to every one of the tags. I just think it'll add a little bit of something which would be, you know, really, really cute. Okay, so now I have my um, little tags with little lines in them. You could also um, heat emboss them and make them a color, which would be really cute, or do three different colors, which would be adorable also. Okay, so I have my Monday here. Just going to ink that up with that same white pigment ink. That's what I love about clear stamps at least you can redo them um, as you can see on this one there's like some smearing of the white ink and I'm totally okay with that because this is gonna have a chalkboard look anyways so I'm going to continue to do that for each one of these okay next I'm going to take a couple sets from the alleyway stamps this is the gang and I'm going to use this cute little dog here it reminds me of my little dog Pearl and I'm going to pick seven little images and just quickly stamp them with Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I'll be coloring these in. If I wasn't coloring these in, I would use um, a VersaFine ink. Let's quickly stamp these down. Bird brain. Um, I think I'm going to use this cute little bird right here. This is um, Tagalongs. Little cute little tree. I'm 
also going to use the little mouse, the little home, and then on um, for the last two, I'm going to use tiny treasures. And I think I'm going to use the little snail. It's adorable, I love that little snail. The fish. This is a great way um, also, if your child is just starting preschool and doesn't know how to read yet, this is a great way for them to learn um, how to read if you did like the full word or if you did if they're learning their abbreviations for the days of the week because they can recognize the photos so or okay so they can sorry so they can recognize the picture with the um name so like for friday if i did friday and i did the fish they could recognize that the fish is always on friday and it's a, so therefore they will learn a sight word That's the preschool teacher and me coming out. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly color these and I will be right back. So here are all my images colored and now I'm just going to quickly fussy cut them all. Okay, so here are all my cute little images cut out. I'm going to be taking a black Copic marker and carefully just using the edge here, going around the edges of the little pieces I just cut out will make it look as though I did it perfectly even though I didn't cut them out perfectly. It gets rid of all the little um, white edges and looks like it was done with perfection. So I'm going to quickly do that to all of these. Okay, so now I'm going to take and you can see the white is still um, a little wet here so I'm just going to run my finger across that um, and then just I don't mind getting messy if you don't want to get messy you can um, use a sponge or whatever you want um, I'm just taking my finger and lightly going across this to make it look as though it has more of a chalkboard feel And then after I do all of them, I will heat set them. Okay, so I just went ahead and heat set all of these so that they didn't smear anymore and it worked really well. I did, however, have to heat set them for quite a long time, about maybe 30 seconds a piece, which for me is a long time <laughs> to heat set something. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this red paper. This is from um, Echo Park Happy Days Collection and it is called red yellow i'm going to take a sheet out of here i got this from the echo park sale when i went I had some awesome stuff and this was one of my favorites um, it's like almost like a little bit of a distress playful look so i'm just going to take these one at a time and remember these are stickers here so just going to place these down. With, give them a little bit of an edge. And set it down like that. And I'm just going to repeat that with every single one of them and then just cut them out quickly. Okay, so here we are with the little tags here. And all I'm going to do is take my scissors and follow each corner just to give it the exact same look as the tag. Okay, so now I've done my tags. I've also gone ahead and punched out the little hole again. Next, I'm going to take some foam adhesive. I'm going to be using the red line adhesive. These are those um, foam dots. Just because this is going to get a lot of use. It's going to be used every week for as long as it lasts. And I really do want them to last a long time if I'm going to be making them. So I'm just going to take and place a little piece of adhesive and then just take and place um, any one that I really want on there. I think I'll go with the little house. 
So on the bottom of each one is going to get one of our little things here. tags Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday okay so all I've done is taken one of these cute little colored um, safety pins and thread it through each one of these to hold it instead of putting a jump ring there I just think this adds a little more um, playful fun and it also um, adds a little bit more color now as you can see I added a couple googly eyes one to the fish I went to the little bird down here just for that playfulness also. Okay, so next I have some black ribbon. This is just from Hobby Lobby. It's nothing special, it's $4. I'm sure I used a coupon because I never pay full price for anything. And I'm just going to make seven bows. If you have not watched my perfect bow tutorial, I suggest you head over there. It's fabulous, easy, and fast. So, just going to quickly make seven of these perfect little bows. And make sure they're nice and tight. Next, I need to make some sort of a hanger so that this bow, once placed on here, can hang onto the hanger. Um, and this is going to be something very simple. It's not going to be anything super um, elaborate. I just want it to be able to hang on top of the hanger with the tag so we know what day it is. So all I'm going to do is take and cut seven pieces so I made one right here and that's about the size that I want it now I'm just before I tie it to my bow I'm going to take and measure seven pieces so they all hang approximately the same size um, that way you don't have one that's super short and one that's really long so just do seven of these I think I'm going to take it and just make a go once so not really a true knot and have it kind of at the top and then take the two ends together make a knot so pulling both ends through and then pushing that knot to the top remember we want to make some sort of like little loop so it looks something like that or it has a loop at the top but it's also knotted down here so it's not going to fall off of our bow. And you can use twine if you don't have like a little bit of ribbon. And then the next thing I'm going to do is place these two together. So I want them to be able to be placed together with this cute little safety pin here. So I'm just going to take the safety pin through the back here 
grab the bow and I went through the red also so that that red doesn't accidentally come undone and then clip it together like that. And then when it hangs, of course it's not gonna be perfect. You can put your little tails behind or whatever you like. You can make your bow smaller. I, however, I, it doesn't bother me. So when it hangs on your clothing, you have a cute little bow on top. I'm going to repeat that and do that to every one of these. I am so excited how this project is turning out. So before I um, hang these on the clothing, the, um, the bows, I don't really want them to move as much as they're, they will. So I'm just going to take a little bit of glossy accents behind a couple places on here, on each one. Put a couple drops on the back. And then slide the bow where I want it to be. And just hold it there for a second so that it adheres. Okay, so the very last thing I'm going to do is just take the ends and clip these. You can use any kind of scissors that you want. And I'm just clipping them a little shorter so that you can see the, um, the letters right there. And there we go. That's it. So it's super simple and super cute. And all you do is hang this on your hanger and then it hangs over your clothing and then you know what day that outfit is set out for. I love how this turned out. I think this would be an awesome um, child's gift or a baby gift for a new mom so that she could just place out the outfits and have them all ready. I hope that this inspires you to go create something that's perfectly imperfect. And I will see you next time. Bye!